the Terminator taking on the Leopard. Both girls hailing from Cairo. Early preparation. Oh my goodness me. The, the, the touch from El Hamami here was beyond impressive. You could hear the string sing, but the ball, look how high it bounced, PJ. <laughs> she's just, she's either volleying or half volleying go hard. The issue that she's got though, Joe, I mean, she's got away with one there. It was almost one of those where it was so poor, no, it was good. It. It's gone through the middle of the court yeah, into did. the body. It wasn't intentional. Was Usually, the player can make the intentional one down the middle. That, to me, looked like a slight miss hit. It's good width. Just click the top of the tin. Fantastic first game. Terrific first game. Barely anything in it between the two Egyptian ladies. Well, the, the literally the surge at the beginning from Gohart racing to a 5-1 lead. El Hamami did superbly well to bring it back. This is where it puts so much pressure on Hamami's shots because anything slightly loose where Goha can get some momentum and some space, he really does apply so much pressure to the opponents. And when she's got those accuracy levels and the ball isn't clipping the sidewall too early on, it really is pushing Hamami deep into those back two corners. This is a monumental rally. Yeah, it's brilliant. A monumental rally. There's the length, the reward from Goha. The continual battery of that ball just below the service line. That's an unbelievable shot. She's done it again, that high backhand volley. That's two in a row from Hamami. It's certainly Hamami that's been the more creative and varied in this pace. Ever again, there's a couple of those kind of drives into the body of the opponent from Goha. On two occasions now, she played it into the body and caught her mammy a little bit flat footed. There's the the emotional screen, which will be a regular occurrence for Mel Hamami if she starts to make inroads. Feel that the ball that was hit out of court and they could. This really is being played at such a terrific pace. Well, it's, it's, it's not kind of let up, is it? No. And that's the result of it. It's just continual yeah. pressure from Goha. You can see there the shoulders of Hamami just trying to take on as much oxygen. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Bit of a taste of her own medicine there. Yeah. Hamami thumping this backhand kill hard and low. Two game balls for El Hamami. Oh, the three minute injury break certainly wow. helping El Hamami and she's started to malfunction the Terminator. She was looking in great order up until that change in momentum and this young lady's 
needed only one opportunity. Oh, that's an unbelievable forehand drop shot from Nania El Hamami. Goha was scurrying around all four corners of the court trying to hang in there. But then the finish here from the forehand drop, inch perfect. Oh, it's wild. <laughs> you can sense the nervousness, of course, from both players. Oh, she's going for it here. This could be trouble. Oh, she's done it. She's absolutely caned it cross court. Naronga. She got up to it, raced up to that boast. Hit such an acute, powerful low line cross court. Hugely impressive. I can't believe how physical it's been from the word go all the way through. 77 wow. minutes. That is a match and a half. What a cracker. Very, very tight score lines throughout those four games. And it's the world number two, number three seed, winning her first World Tour Finals Championship. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you want to beat Tanya, you have to play uh, over your best, actually, and uh, be very consistent. I mean, she's the, the most hungry player right now on tour. Uh, I know how it feels uh, when I was her age uh, to be like uh, really good and beating uh, the top players. So uh, I knew how uh, she would be confident on court and uh, especially uh, I couldn't take it for granted being too love up. Uh, yeah, and she just uh, fought back and uh, uh, yeah, she definitely she, she was trying to win the match. So uh, I'm just pleased with the way uh, I performed. Uh, and it's always easier uh, when you have the support. So, I mean, here I have all the support. I have the support of my coach, Omar. Uh, Hossein is not here, uh, I think, but uh, also... But the crowd is here. Yeah, definitely. Yes. <laughs> Last but not least, I mean, the crowd, and uh, especially Waidi Degla. Norongo, everybody, can I ask you both for taking just a memorial uh, picture?